Hey, we're Whiskey Fancies. I'm Chris. I'm Kara. And today we have Journeyman Corsets, Whips, and Whiskey. And this particular one is a Cypress Craft Pick. Um, Cash strength, huh? Oh, absolutely. 62.95%. Uh, I'm excited. Now, we have the regular expression of it where I believe it's it's still cast strength, but I don't know if it's a small batch or a single barrel. I don't think it really says in the label from my memory. Hmm. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but we had to dive into Sam's pick because... From Cypress Craft. I'm excited. So He's got a good palette. It so matches it. ours uh, quite often. Oh, yeah. I have a quick question. Do you smell oh. like charcoal on mm. the nose or am I having a stroke? You're having a stroke. Or maybe I'm having a stroke because I don't smell that. No, I don't. They smell something different. No. All right. Well, let us know when you taste. Okay. If any of you have had uh, Journeyman products, just comment below and say, let us know what you think of it. It's a very interesting. I think they're gonna blow up because Sazerac so. bought them. I was just about to ask mm. you. Sazerac recently bought Journeyman. Yeah, I really hope that they don't destroy all that they're buying. I hope no early we can still get it. Bond. <laughs> now Journeyman. I mean, I understand if somebody's doing something similar to your product on a much higher level, well, what you're producing now is get it. You want them to buy their competition, but. Mm. got the heat at the end. Yeah. But so I'm having a little issue over here because I burned my mouth earlier. Uh, so uh, the high proof is definitely making itself known. <laughs> uh, it's it's quite tasty, but it's not a cinnamon there's something proof. Different. And this is 100% wheat, I believe. Mm. Um, the fact that it doesn't have that cinnamon on it, that's kind of... I've usually... On meters have cinnamon. Is it because... That it has something else in it, and this is 100% wheat? I have no idea. Science, man. I don't know it. So much to learn, and too many whiskeys to drink. It tastes like... Question mark. I'm, I'm struggling over here. I don't know what that is. This tastes like happiness. Okay. I'll, go, I'll give you that. Like... I don't know. It just... I have a cheeriness to it. I don't know if it's cherry itself or like a dark red fruit. It's I could cherry. see dark fruits, but there's a a quality that I'm not understanding. No, okay. What are you getting on the nose though? So I like, like it it smells like almost like a mesquite wood, like there's a different quality to it, like mesquite slash charcoal-y. Okay, see I get the mesquite part, like it, it doesn't smell what your average whiskey would be. That's right. what it's so and that, completely on a different and that spectrum. You, and you, but that uniqueness but also comes into the palate though. Yeah, but it's so soft in the nose. Like it's just, it's subtle in there and it has like a fruitness quality to it. Okay, like um, yeah. Weller 107, you on the nose, so it's got that, that fruity, delicate s smell on the nose. Like it's there. But it's not light. It's it's it smells it's like more of a darker, wood. richer. It smells like toasted wood at the end, right? With some, yeah. But it's definitely like when you have like smoked meats and you use mesquite wood or a hickory, it has a different quality to it, right? Yeah, but it's not there on the palate. There's something unique there, though. There's a wood to it, but it's very, very soft for me. Huh? I just can't describe it. It's very different, it's unique, and it's not unpleasant. I enjoy it, but yeah, I, I'm completely puzzled. It has so many, it's so like rich and deep, but I can't. I feel a bit of cola. Oh, okay. There's a cola-ness to it. I get the cherry for sure, but I, right? Like a dark cherry, or am I confusing that with a cola? No, I can. Way at the back, I, I could see dark cherry. And have you ever had those um, natural type sodas that have Hansons? a lot of no, like more like fenton. I think it's fentanyls. They have they do a lot of uh, herbs and spices. Like no. they literally put herbs like sarsaparilla in it. No, I would I see say that I would say that's closer to that kind oh, of corn syrup. 
Is that corn syrup? Mm -hmm. Definitely not that. I'm thinking like old timey soda. Yeah. I can't say I have. I have had that. Probably, before. but I don't know. I'm not that much of a soda drinker, so that's why I'm equating. It, this, so is, this is fascinating. This is not a pour that I would reach for if I just want to hang out, uh, play video games, or watch a movie and kick back or watch the ball game. It's too complex for that for me. I think this is a really a, a deep thinking whiskey. This is. Does that sound? No, no. I get what you're saying. Stupid, it's like you have. I, I can't. I can't go a good bottle out. when you have friends over that you know enjoy whiskey and you share it. Yeah, and you pull this with. out for, with your friends. Yes. and be like, you need to taste this. Yes, and then you have yeah. the other friends that. They're just like, you can just open up anything and they have no idea. They'll just mix it with something. I'm like, this, yeah, that's no, this fine is not too. what you use that for. This is different. This is a special bottle. I like it. I like it 